Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Welcome back! You have come to the final week of our Advent Calendar series where we are opening a page a day in our Golden Advent Calendar illustrated by Ursula Swab. Today is December 21st and we are going to flip to page 21 and see what we have in store for us today. If you're new to our channel and just finding us, welcome! I hope you have a chance to go back and catch up on the first 20 days of our Advent Calendar series. Okay, let's take a look at what we're doing today. Okay, today is a activity where it looks like we are making a reindeer ornament with a little uh, angel elf kind of girl up top. It looks like she's going to be riding our reindeer. Let me Google this page just to make sure that I'm not uh, dreaming this up and we'll get started. Google Translate confirms that this is indeed uh, what they are calling a table stand ornament. So the whole idea is that once you color cut out and uh, paste this together, it will stand up, be a little ornament. So first things to do obviously is we need to color it. After I've colored it, I'll decide whether or not we're actually going to uh, stand this up. I have not used my Blick Studio uh, colored pencils enough, so I'm going to pull this set out and use them to complete the page. But well, that's the plan. This set comes with two trays, so there should be uh, lots of options for us. So I've pulled out a selection of colors, and I guess the uh, good part about having a two-sided ornament is that I will color the first one together with you and then the next one will be exactly the same. So I will do that off I hope you're all doing well today. This is the uh, last week, busy week before Christmas. going to do the antlers now. We're going to do them in a light gray and then I'm going to come in with some probably silver stickles or something to bling them up a bit. And I'll put the stickles just in the spots that I left white so it won't be too overpowering. It'll just look like he's got some decorations in his on his antlers. I'll zoom you out and you can see how this little guy is looking. Okay so I haven't done the star. I will use a sparkle pop on this star here. We will complete the second reindeer the same as the first and like I mentioned I will do it off camera. Okay this is how our reindeer is looking. See you back shortly. And here we are after both sides of our reindeer are complete. I will do the bottom portion now and I am going to use a Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen in the color Sage since they are standing on the ground. And I'm going to actually go right up to their legs because 
this uh, area here is always an, a problem. I'm going to go right over everything and then I am going to come in with a twin tone green marker and do the leaves and I'll come in with them some gel pens to do the stars. I'll do the same to both sides. So this is dry to the touch now, so I can come in with my twin tone water-based marker and do the leaves. For the stars, I'm going to make them silver to match the antlers. So I'll reach for my silver sparkle pop. We'll do the same to the second side. Here's how the page is looking right now. Um, I think I am going to leave it in the book. Um, I don't need a small table stand ornament. So I'm going to leave it in the book. So I am going to complete, there's all these little uh, hearts and stars around on the page. I am going to complete those. And I am going to do the two little angels holding gifts but I since I am not cutting them out I don't have to do them exactly the same so I will do them in different colors. Just completing a few other items on the page there's a bunch of these uh, hearts with wings on the page so I'm doing them all with a Dollar Tree glitter marker in light blue so that all of the wings are the same and I'll zoom you out so you can see all of the winged hearts. There you go. There are an abundance of stars on this page so I'm going to use the Dollar Tree glitter marker in light gold for those and that'll make them stand out. Since I am not going to be cutting out this page I do want to kind of get rid of the uh, cut lines so and merge these two guys a little bit together. So I'm taking some acrylic paint, the Folk Art acrylic paint in a color shift and it's called Black Flash and I've used it uh, before early on, on an earlier page and I am just going around these two reindeer and getting rid of the black cut line so that these items make are made to look like they should be staying on the page and not cut out. This is the Dr. P. H. Martin's Bleed Proof White and I will just apply it with a small paintbrush right on top of the lines. And that will just make that these reindeer are supposed to be left on the page. Here's a quick look at the page with one side done with the bleed proof white and one side left with the cut lines. And I know it's just a small difference, but um, I do prefer this one. So I will continue on and finish this one off camera. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like between the two. Okay, here's a quick full view of our page with all of the stars finished. I've got left to do are the hearts and the two uh, angels carrying presents. So we'll pick out a few more colors and we'll start on those two. So I've decided to go with a metallic marker from the Dollar Tree. So the inside of the hearts will be metallic blue and the wings will be the Dollar Tree blue glitter marker. I'll do that to all the hearts and then we'll move on to our angels.
for the small details on her dress, I am using a twin tone marker. Using the color waterfall with stickles, I'm putting it around her wing stickles on her hat area and on her sleeve by her hand. Using a variety of gel pens and glitter markers, I will complete these presents. Since I am not making these angels identical, I am changing the color of her dress to pink for the second angel. Using the same twin tone marker, but now doing different elements on the dress. And because this dress is pink, the blue shows up differently. I'll give her the same color of boots as her wings. For the scarf, I'm going to do a glitter pink. Her hair is going to be a little bit darker than the other one. I have a light peachy colored stickles that I'll do around her wings. And then I don't think I will do any more stickles around the rest of the angel. I think I'll just leave it. As part of our ending of every video, we take a quick look at all the supplies used and today we used a variety of Blick Studio coloring pencils, some Dollar Tree glitter and metallic markers, some twin tone Tombow, a Zig Clean Color, some, some gel pens, a Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen, some bleed proof white to get rid of the cut lines, four colors of stickles, and a small amount of acrylic paint in the color shift black flash and here is our final look at the completed activity page which we turned into a coloring page we've got lots of gold stars we've got some black flash along the ground we've removed all the cut lines the stickles on the wings of the angels look great overall happy with the page I'm happy that it turned out the way it did. I especially am happy though that you have been along this journey with me. So thank you for watching today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 22. We're getting close to the end of the month and Christmas. So I hope you are having a blessed holiday season so far. And I thank you again for coming and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.